Welcome to Lesson 8 of the Business in the Real World Unit. In this unit, the key questions are What are the main aims and objectives of a business? What is the purpose of setting business objectives? Why do objectives change as the business evolves? These are the key terms. Read through them carefully. Objectives, aims, local business, international business, startup business, shareholder. Let's talk about aims and objectives. An aim is where a business wants to go in the future, its goals. It's a statement of purpose. Task. Can you think of three aims that a business might have? List them down. Objectives give the business a clearly defined target. Plans can then be made to achieve these targets. This can motivate the employees. It also enables the business to measure the progress towards its stated aims. Think of them as short-term goals in order to meet the longer-term aims. The most effective business objectives meet the following criteria. S. Specific. Objectives are aimed at what the business does. For example, a hotel might have an objective of filling 60% of its beds a night during October, an objective specific to that business. M. Measurable. The business can put a value to the objective. For example, €10,000 in sales in the next half year of trading. A. Agreed by all those concerned in trying to achieve the objective. R. Realistic. The objective should be challenging, but it should also be able to be achieved by the resources available. T. Time specific. They have a time limit of when the objective should be achieved by, for example, by the end of the year. Task. Pause the video. Now fetch the list of aims that you created earlier. Now select one of the aims from our notes and think of three objectives that the business could work towards which would contribute to achieving that clear aim. Don't forget, your objectives should be SMART. Having an objective is useful because it helps staff to focus on shared aims. A business could instruct its staff to work towards increasing sales by 10% by the end of the year. The main objectives that a business might have are Survival A short-term objective, probably for small businesses just starting out or when a new firm enters the market or at a time of crisis. Profit maximisation Try to make the most profit possible most likely to be the aim of the owners and shareholders. Profit satisficing. Try to make enough profit to keep the owners comfortable, probably the aim of smaller businesses whose owners do not want to work longer hours. Sales growth. Where the business tries to make as many sales as possible. This may be because the managers believe that the survival of the business depends on being large. Large businesses can also benefit from economies of scale. Task. Pause the video. Take a look at the image below containing the global sales from the Apple iPhone from 2007 to 2014. What does this image suggest that Apple's main objectives are? Different organisations have different objectives. Some businesses are run to make as much profit as possible for owners. However, not all businesses aim to make profit. Voluntary organisations, such as charities, are more concerned with providing a service to others. Task. Pause the video. Let's take a look at some exam-style questions. Read through the scenarios below and answer the questions based on items A and B.
Scenario. Karen Booth is opening Karen Sarnitz, a small sandwich shop in Nantwich, Cheshire. In her first year, Karen's main aim is to survive. For the years after that, Karen has other aims, such as to maximise profits. Identify two aims a small business may have, other than survival and maximising profit. Two marks. Scenario continued. Three years after Karen Sarnies opened, Rye Limited, a large national sandwich retailer, opened a branch on the same street. Explain one way in which the arrival of Rye Limited may have affected Karen's aims. Four marks. Explain why the aims of Rye Limited are likely to be different to the aims for Karen Sarnies. Identify one aim Rye Limited might have in your answer. Three marks. A business may change its objectives over time due to the following reasons. A business may achieve an objective and will need to move on to another one. For example, survival in the first year may lead to an objective of increasing profit in the second year. The competitive environment might change with the launch of new products from competitors. Technology might change product designs, so sales and production targets might need to change. Task. Pause the video, have a go at answering the following question, using at least 100 words. How might the objectives of Starbucks change over time? Businesses need to respond to the world around them. The business environment is always changing. Firms need to adapt to these changes or they may have problems.